pardon my messy floor and my knee. <laughs> I made a, a little uh, sculpting stand for tall uh, sculptures like this one uh, so that I could work on the upper part without having to stand and hurt my back after all day. And uh, what I did was I put a Lazy Susan um, revolving thing that you can get at the hardware store between two boards and uh, attached it to a that little makeshift uh, stand and it works fine. Uh, I can work on the uh, sculpture at uh, face level and or at least close to it and uh, it won't be a lot of straining and str stress on my back or on my shoulders like reaching up trying to work on uh, him. So now I'm going to be working on his uh, collar and his uh, upper part of his vest and then I'll raise it back up and start working on the bottom part of his coat. So I don't know if I'll do all that today but I'm going to do as much as I can. Alright, it's time to get started. Is uh, I'm putting the scarf on his uh, neck and it's just a, a single piece of uh, cloth that uh, or cotton that wraps around his neck and you can see how it's uh, sort of brought up and under and over the uh, front of the uh, cloth in uh, kind of a tie. Um, now I haven't put the uh, the uh, vest on yet, the waistcoat, and uh, I'll do that as soon as I get this uh, sketched in. Um, always better to have this under the waistcoat rather than try to sculpt it after you put the waistcoat on. I'm also going to do his hat, and I have to do it differently because there's a foam, hard foam uh, skull underneath this, and so I can't just normally cut flat straight through, and uh, so I'll have to do it a little bit different than I normally would, and I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, we'll figure it out, and I'll show you how I make the hat. Alright, it's time to do the hat, and uh, i got to make it level, let's see, I'm going to go down to about right there. Yeah, well. So maybe it doesn't go that far. Yeah, maybe too. there's no wire in it. It's maybe lower toward, down towards the neck. Could you hold his head on that one side? No, just be careful not to, you know, sort of hold it where the hair is. Watch your fingers. There it goes. Oh, okay, I can. It's not leaving too big of a mess either. You just see how flat that is. Looks pretty flat. Okay, that works. We need a bean store here. Okay, the reason I cut the uh, head flat, I will show you in a few minutes. But uh, that's what I wanted to do, is cut it straight through. All right, I made the uh, blank for the hat out of the uh, thing. I've outlined the approximate shape of his uh, skull, and then I took the measurement and followed the line of the skull and took that measurement so that the 
brim is the same width from the skull or from the head all the way around. Now you can adjust it once you've uh, got it on the head. But uh, now I'm going to just put clay on the hat armature. And that's what this is, is actually an armature for the hat. See? Now see how that works? Now just a matter of uh, getting all three sides. You want to look at the hat again? No, I, I know what it looks like. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to put the shape in here and then I'm going to center it on its head with the shape. I'll readjust everything after I get done. All right, now you see why I cut the top of the head off. Now I can have a platform for the brim of the hat. Now I'm going to screw this in place. All right, now I take a couple of screws and screw it down into the foam. That holds the hat in place. And then, that looks about even too. And then what I do is I start building up the crown, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the boundaries. Now I'm going to go just in a little bit inside of the hairline because the hair would be compressed against the skull. And then in the back, uh, just a little bit in from the hair. You don't want it cutting in too far on the front though. You want that one right at the outside of the right to the line of the head. All I'm doing is blocking in where I gotta put this brim and how I want to put the brim. Okay now we got that blocked in, now we can just start piling clay on. Just, there's no high, high part or low part on the uh, crown on the, these style hats. It's just round. And I use a, this piece of wood just to round it off a little bit and evenly round it off. It, it makes a too good tool for doing that. Takes down the high points. I remember when you went outside one day and kicked a rock when you were trying to Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I was trying to get buffalo fur mm -hmm. texture, yeah. All right, I'm just double checking to make sure that it matches the uh, skull. And I'm just going to add where I have to. You see how quickly that builds up, and you see why you anchor the thing on the head because you don't want it coming off the head. And I'm just checking, double checking, all the way around, make sure it looks right. Yep. Now the, the sides would come up like that. back as well. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put this right in the front because it uh, the stitching to hold the hat together to the uh, brim 
or more in the front. Can you lower that middle? Well, I'm going to lower his top of his brim because it's sticking up too high. Actually, I'm going to lengthen the, uh, not the brim, but the crown. That's the beauty of these uh, folders is you can do anything with them. Now, I'm, this is just temporary until I can get a little washer made out of some piece of plastic and I'll put it in there and it'll hold it better. But for now, that's pretty close to what the, the hat looks like. So that's how you make a tri-corner hat and uh, it worked out pretty good. I just, I have to thicken up the, the, uh, the uh, brim a little bit because it has to still be cast. And I can't make it that thin or else it would just uh, not work. But uh, I just needed to get it on there. But you see how it even fits like it does on my head with a little bit of a curve going down, which is kind of cool. So that's why I had the hat here in my studio so I could work from it. Okay, I'm going to let this clay harden up, not harden, but stiffen and get cold overnight so that I can work with it a little bit easier tomorrow. And that will do it for today. That's uh, John Lovewell up to this point with his hat and the starting of his vest. This whole upper part of his vest is going to be covered up with a jacket and uh, uh, you'll see that as I get to work on it. So I'm not going to worry too much about this detail. I just was more worried about the uh, detail around his neck. And uh, I'm just going to cover up that screw.